Hey, what's up guys? Michael here. In today's video, I will be discussing the websites that I use on a daily basis in my trading. So uh, the websites that I will discuss, I use for technical analysis, fundamental analysis, for news and for macro data. Uh, so um, I will cover all the websites for all the topics that you can use yourself. And some of them are free to use, uh, free to, we can say, consume content. And uh, some of them are uh, that you need to pay for their content. And some of them are hybrids that some content is free on their website and some content is paid. So yeah, let's uh, start from the first one, which is Reuters, the one of the most popular one. And as you can guess, this one is uh, that I use for news, uh, checking on the news, but news for all, we can say all of the world, uh, that's the first thing. And second thing from all of the sectors of the economies, also from the politics, business perspective, etc. So we have the we have the front page, as you can see, you have an example of uh, the uh, top news right now. Biden wars Putin in talks to expect sanctions if he invades Ukraine. As if the Putin would even care about those, sac those sanctions. They have so much gold in the reserves right now. So yeah, uh, but that's, uh, that's the topic for a different, uh, different video. But let's uh, check the website. So we have the sections right over here. You have the information based on the world from the uh, continents, Africa, America, Asia Pacific from the business. And you have the sectors of the business, energy, environment, finance, legal, government, legal industry, liquidation, trans, transactional markets and then uh, we have divided uh, markets based on, for example, uh, on the asset classes and the regions. So we have commodities, currencies, uh, deals, European markets, funds, etc. So um, I don't know. Let's uh, check uh, as an example the commodities. And right here you have uh, firstly uh, the futures, uh, the contract, uh, the futures contract, the prices uh, right now. Uh, market performances of, yeah, you have currencies, rate bonds, stocks and most importantly, uh, which is why I use Reuters, is that uh, you have commodities news. And right now, uh, what we have, for example, Kazakhstan keep uh, keen to raise oil output, the Deputy Energy Minister says. So you click on uh, such news and you read what is going on over there in Kazakhstan and what I uh, what is the situation over there. So based on that, you can then uh, analyze the future situation on the oil market because as we all know that right now OPEC is uh, dealing with this uh, new situation with the new variant and uh, the uh, one-time event which was the releasing of the reserves from the uh, United States and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> that's one thing. Second, you have uh, you have reports like over here, deals, news, exclusive EU antitrust regulator seeks input on Microsoft nuance deal. And here the, uh, those reports are, we can say, not long. They are very compressed and uh, straight to the point. And uh, why I use uh, Reuters? So basically because they have the standards of the Thomson Reuters, uh, Thomson Reuters as trust principles, because I don't know if you know, I don't know if you know that, but uh, this is a publicly traded company. So uh, Reuters is uh, traded on the stock exchange. Therefore, they need to comply various rules concerning, for example, I don't know, reliability of their information. So you have all the uh, trust principles on the uh, separate website. You can read them and uh, therefore you will know what standards they are using when they are gathering information. So. Next website is similar to the uh, Reuters, but what I need to say, Reuters is uh, free. The content that you have over here uh, that uh, we were browsing is uh, free. What you need to do is to just register on their website. And the second website is uh, another well-known, which is Bloomberg. And here I am talking about uh, the website content and the you can say news and articles, right? This is a subscription based content. So you will have to pay to read whatever the article. I guess uh, if you are new to the website, uh, three articles are free, but uh, after that, 
you will have to and you will have to buy a subscription either paid monthly or yearly uh, but uh, this is a, a similar website to the uh, to the reuters i was also subscribing uh, to them uh, previously uh, but uh, yeah i decided whether uh, would i decided that i can find also other informations on other websites for free and there is no need for me to uh, to pay that the, there is a different thing if you, we are talking about the bloomberg terminal there uh, you have uh, different we can say quality different level of information of insight uh, therefore yeah, this is uh, something uh, completely different but yeah uh, there are they ha they are having a lot of deals that you can test them for free uh, so yeah uh, if you want to check them out uh, either way you can uh, see the trial of the bloomberg and then compare the quality of the information for example with reuters so that is my opinion on Bloomberg. And the next website is Zero Hedge. This is the website that uh, I like the most. One of the websites I like the most. And uh, why is that? Because uh, they are posting very good and deep analysis uh, with very, uh, very deep and long explanation of the topic. So here is the website where you can look for fundamentals and uh, facts behind some theories. So yeah, uh, you have very long articles and very and uh, yeah, you have also charts added to the articles. Therefore, you could easily understand the topic and uh, yeah, visualize what they are talking about, what they are trying to trying to describe. So you have articles like that when where they are explaining uh, the debt limit of the federal government. You have articles like uh, this one, a little bit of an insight. When you have the, des uh, uh, the description of the, uh, of the deal that Apple signed secretly for 20, 275 billion with the Chinese government. So you have insights like this one. You have also paid content like this one. VIX guy nailed it again. If, for those of you, if you don't know, uh, VIX is an um, index of fear on the market. So uh, yeah. As you can see, this article is so good, it's for pre premium members only. So most of the stuff on the website is free, but if you want to, you know, support the, support the website, support what they do, you can also subscribe to premium plan and also have access to uh, premium materials. But there's not a lot of them you can, uh, without, uh, without, no, uh, without a problem, browse the website and read the most valuable articles for free so yeah and next thing is the section where i check the macro data the calendar earnings calendar etc so on and so forth and this is the website called trading economics so this is uh, most of the stuff that i use here is uh, free and the stuff that are paid is like APIs where you export the data, for example, on your website. So the stuff that is used for for businesses. But for a simple course consumer, as we are, most of the stuff on the website is free. And here you also have news articles about the fundamentals, but you can also about the current sentiment and fundamentals, but also you have stuff like macro calendar which you can um, customize yourself, the time zone, date, countries, so on and so forth. That's the first thing. And news, as I said in the beginning, markets. So uh, you have also the um, all of the news and informations uh, divided on the sections like currencies uh, that uh, information that concern currencies stock commodities bonds earnings and holidays and you have the indicators so um, let's go for example for the indicators of the united kingdom and you have overview and what i have on mean gdp growth rate gdp annual growth rate unemployment rate which is the current macro data so you have gdp labor employment unemployment rate employment persons unemployed persons full-time employment so on and so forth money what is the money supply central bank balance sheet 
so you have all the informations available here so therefore you can check all the informations over here all the data so you can for example um you know choose a gdp growth rate you click on that and you have uh, the historical chart that goes uh, yeah to for example january 2019 you have max data that are gathered here 25 years 10 years three years so you know what i mean um you can choose by uh, the indicator type and then look for the countries or you can uh, search it by country and then check the indicators for this particular country so next website will be yahoo finance so this is also one of the websites uh, one of the most popular websites on the internet and here traditionally you have news articles but also you have a freely available something like uh, screeners watch list portfolio and so on so let's say uh, we want to check apple stock and you can also uh, do an analysis of the current situation of the company so you have data like pe ratio eps earnings per share so we can go to um, analysis high estimate earnings history so you have the data here available so yeah they also have most likely some paid content so if you want you can check it by yourself so next is market watch and this is more or less the same website as yahoo finance but with this um it differs uh, from the yahoo finance that uh, you need to register or even subscribe uh, to some paid plan in order to have functions like you have over here okay so the next website is guru focus so this is a subscription based only website and there are a few things uh, free uh, free here uh, like articles and some news news uh, but uh, mostly uh, most of the content on this website is uh, based on a subscription on a, a payment membership so uh, as uh, what uh, what the content is the all uh, is on this website basically you have everything what is on yahoo finance but with the uh, broader time horizon so you have a further historical data uh, on this website and also you have uh, very interesting things like screeners based on portfolios of for example warren buffett or for example on george soros so you have here in this uh, section of gurus you have Yes, yeah, so you have uh, pics of Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, uh, Carl Icahn, George Soros, so all the Bill Ackman, all those most famous and successful investors. So this is why uh, the content of this website is mostly for um, investors who are investing in stocks, uh, who are building the long and midterm portfolios, asset managers, and uh, so on. So this is more for a professionals. Uh, uh, so this website yeah uh, we can say it's more for professional investors who are dealing with uh, yeah larger sums of uh, capital because uh, the uh, membership for this website is for example uh, 450 dollars per year so it's not the cheapest one but you have uh, interesting things like for example let's uh, click on apple and you have every data from uh, kind of earnings per share uh, price to book value uh, margins and so on and so forth everything you can have displayed in the form of chart uh, basically at the moment i don't have the subscription because i am not uh, dealing with uh, such large uh, amounts of capital uh, invested in in stocks so yeah i have uh, also uh, other other services other free services are enough for me at this stage i'm saying at this stage so yeah uh, you have also things like uh, things like uh, let me check uh, things like things like uh, market yes economic indicators and for example you have non-farm payrolls everybody knows what it is so basically you have the internal data of the non-farm payers you can browse through various statistics like you have here total non-farm payers all employees but you have also women employees in manufacturing employees ratio education and health services 
so on and so forth you have various metrics various indexes that you can browse over here so as I said, uh, this uh, this knowledge is more for professionals who can basically use it, know how to interpret various uh, various data uh, that are on this uh, website, are on this service. So let's go further uh, with the topic. And next is uh, Forex factories. So uh, this is uh, more of a, we can say, forum service. So, but uh, for straight uh, about trading. So you have uh, things over here like trading discussions, yeah, a forum uh, forum section where you have trading interactive trading trading systems. So you have various systems uh, published over here by uh, various of members of the forum. Um, what else you can find it? You can find ads. <laughs> yeah, you have com uh, commercial content. So basically, all of the brokers will market their service over here. Rookie talk trading journals and recent topics. So you have also things like um, macro calendar, so on and so forth. So a couple of things that you can find on previous website like trading economics. So uh, let's go further. And uh, yeah, uh, next one is mostly based uh, subscription based content also. Yeah, the forum, <laughs> I forgot to mention, the forum is, com forum is completely free. What you need to do is to just register and participate, uh, participate in uh, the talks in uh, yeah um, in the in the content. So next is uh, HI. Uh, the website is uh, more of a we can say subscription based. Uh, most of the content is based on a subscription. You need to be member uh, member of the um, of the service. You need to have member account. And what you have over here, you have market insights. So also you have articles, you have also analysis of various charts, like the one over here. So what else do they have? Uh, let's check their products. So you can buy from them Risk Manager, HI Pro for professionals and RIAS, Next Level Macro Research, so on and so forth. You can see uh, also it's not the cheapest, uh, the cheapest ones, but you have, for example, things like uh, come on, you have uh, things like Market Insight Macro Edge, $15 per month. So it's some of them are cheap, as you can see, some of them are not that cheap. Uh, you have real time alerts for 50 bucks. So you can browse and check what they have to offer. But uh, what you have for free is, as I said, those market insights, some of the uh, some of the articles and some of the analysis. So we have, for example, things like chart of the day, US headline CPI, year on year projection, and, and you have the description of the topic with the chart, right? So let's say chart of the day, um, index VIX. So uh, as we talked previously, the fear index, and also you have some uh, the charts, the uh, description, brief description about the current situation. Uh, so, so and the next one is Life, Life Squawk. So this is interesting thing. This interesting service is also subscription based, and uh, it is we can say basically a radio for traders, something like that, and investors. Because what they do basically is that they uh, they are covering live uh, via sp speaking to you, like in the in the radio all the news and publications and articles we can say uh, in the form of a, yeah, of a radio. So yeah, that is something interesting that you might like because it is a, we can say, a passive, uh, consu passive content consuming. So one of the last uh, websites, and I'm not uh, showing this to you because this is the Light Finance channel, but because uh, they have a very good blog uh, where they have a very good uh, yeah, professionals, uh, traders and investors posting uh, their analysis uh, and forecasts over here. So you have forecasts of the fundamentals, fundamental analysis of the various topics you have uh, here about the Australia and uh, here about the QE tapering and how it will affect the QE, uh, how it will affect Euro USD currency per and you have a uh, technical analysis. So let's uh, check this one out and you have the description, the price levels and the chart. So basically this, uh, the Alex, Alex Rodionov, which is one of the ana analysts hired by the company, 
is uh, using this indicator which shows him potential margin levels uh, from which price uh, could bounce off and yeah so basically these are key levels uh, from which the price should react either once one direction or another but as you can see over here if we uh, check the history those levels are working pretty good so uh, yeah this is one of the uh, one of the tools that he uses and um, and yeah uh, basically uh, in his analysis he is forecasting new potential levels uh, of the uh, price reversal on and uh, yeah price targets and uh, last but not least we can say an honorable mention because uh, I am not uh, recently visiting this website too often but uh, it was the first one that I uh, came across on uh, when I started my trading journey and uh, yeah uh, my journey with the financial markets uh, so this is investing.com most likely many of you are familiar with this website here you have many things like economic calendar, stock screeners, uh, webinars, so on and so forth. Very interesting also articles with independent analysts. And yeah, for those of you who are starting right now, this is also a good website to, uh, to check on. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, that would be all uh, if we are talking about the best websites that you could use on a daily basis in order to improve your trading and your we can say uh, analysis to broaden your perspective on markets, to learn new things and uh, yeah, to have uh, best sources available on the internet for free or for some money. So yeah, thanks for watching again. I hope you uh, enjoyed, learned something from this one and uh, yeah, uh, you will have fun using those uh, services and websites. Take care guys, bye.